Well, hey, hi guys. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Thanks for your patience. Me, uh, Mario and I, uh, we had a very, very, very calm, uh, non-stressful trip. We went down to our HEB and we had uh, we had p we picked up uh, we we wanted we needed some fresh oranges and bananas and apples and uh, it was so calm and they came out they put it in our car for us and it was just so relaxing so that was nice that was a very nice except for the fact that I had to get gas coming home ah and then I had to make Mario lunch ah <laughs> ah. So uh, thank you for being patient. I'm a little behind. Hey, Pam, how are you? Good to see you. Um, it looks like we have uh, everybody. We have both live and YouTube. I'm checking both here. Yep, we are on. Here, there's Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Lauren. We're going to start drawing. I got a fun lesson for you guys here. Hello from Seattle, guys. Hi. Now, uh, welcome to our hour of pencil power. This is our kids special. Now, I'm, I want you guys today to help me think of a cool logo. What I'll today I'll use th this logo. Here we'll use this logo for today. This will be our logo, our hour of pencil power. Right there, we'll use that logo right there. But I want you guys. That's our hour of pencil power. Whoo! Full hour of drawing. We get so much done in an hour. Now today we're going to be drawing marshmallows. Now if you guys want to draw the, uh, do a logo. I'll tell you how to do that, and then you're going to comment. Once I post, I'll post the finished drawing. Like, I don't know if you saw it, but I posted this, right? Did you guys see this? It was posted on my Facebook and Instagram, the, the full finished piece. And then you look for that and then comment below this. See, now with your pictures, I want to see pictures of you and your family all drawing. And I want to put them on my e-newsletter to, to my 20,000 creative tribe and to put it on my Facebook, okay? So today we're gonna draw marshmallows. We're gonna draw like Marshmallow Towers, the Marshmallow Hotel, Marshmallow Towers, Marshmallow Hotel. We're gonna draw like the marshmallows on a long excursion. And then uh, how about how about Bat Marshmallow? How about Super, you know, Bat, instead of Batman, it's Bat Marshmallow. What do you guys think? Do you love that lesson? So we're gonna draw marshmallows today, Mighty Marshmallows. Now, <laughs> let's go ahead and I'm gonna, <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to get this get this up here. Zoom it in. Zoom in my Facebook. Now, I'm going to start with a dot right in the middle. I need to I'm gonna move this up just a bit to see if I can get a better, better spot. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. And then very lightly. Remember, this is just a light guideline. This is just a light guideline. You don't have... This is not the permanent end to boundary just it's just a suggestion all right now for this one i'm gonna i'm not sure what's gonna be in our logo today I, usually i figure that out beforehand it can be something with the marshmallow poking out um i got an idea already for that one it's gonna be cool all right so for so for this first one let's draw let's draw the marshmallow family we'll draw a cool little image of the marshmallow family so i'm gonna move my camera up so you can see it then I'll move this one. See, this is, this is, now I had this all, I had this all worked out the other day. And I'm not sure exactly how I had it, but I'm trying to get it back to where it was so I can do it. All right, I think that's, no, that's not quite it either. Let's move that up just a bit. All right, so let's start right here in the middle. Put two dots straight across from each other and that's our four shortened circle. Remember, there's 12 Renaissance words, and if you can use these words, it's the first one, probably the most important one, a foreshortened circle. Take your pencil and draw that, <coughs> excuse me, that foreshortened circle. Now, foreshortening means to squish and distort, squish and distort. All right, now we're going to draw the sides down of both of these marshmallows' uh, edges, okay? It's a cylinder. It's a wonderful way to start. And it's a really important basic shape. Hello, Charity, how are you doing? Don't go straight across. Curve the bottom. I want to welcome all of our YouTube families and all of our uh, Facebook families. Let me know where you're from up there. And let me know how many uh, are in your family that are watching. So there's, there's a, a nice cylinder. This is one of our basic shapes. This is a great cylinder here. This was one of my students sent me this. 
uh, they made this a paper mache finger puppet. It just we're gonna do a whole whole lesson on puppets coming up here one of these days. I got some really neat finger puppets to draw. In fact, I got a bunch of paper puppets right here, right? Because today we're gonna use pen pencil power. Someone in the in this text box, right? Pencil power, woohoo! Someone type in woohoo. That's you right there. That's you going woohoo, yahoo. Someone type in yahoo. Look at this is you getting ready to draw yahoo. Look at the top of this this Campbell soup puppetry. See that? Watch. See how the top the top is a circle. Top is circle, but if you tilt it, it becomes a foreshortened circle. It squishes, and that's what this is. So this will be, this is going to be a Mo, Marshmallow Mo. Now let's draw Marshmallow's sister over here. This is going to be Marshmallow Moina. So I'm going to put a marshmallow back behind here. So draw a foreshortened circle again. That's squish and distort, squish and distort. And then we're going to tuck this in. Here's overlapping. I'm welcoming all the folks from Oregon. They said they're having a rainy, cold day. I'm glad, Tina, that you're having you're drawing with four of your family, Tina Beaver. Good to see you. And we'll see, you're going to make a card to send it to Grandma and Grandpa, Gram, Grandma and Pop. Thank you. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? Good to see you guys. Great, great, great. Hello, Ben from Boston. Great to see you. Now watch. See the bottom line right here? Come up just a bit. From this point, you're going to come up just a bit. See, from the down here, you're going to move this back. You see this 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 marshmallow. This is his. Here's Marshmallow Mo, and he and his sister are going out for a little walk, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So his here's here's Mo, and here's his sister. Now again, I'm drawing light. I'm drawing really light, so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, light, light, light. And then now back here. So here's Marshmallow Mo, Marshmallow Moina. Now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw Grandpa Marshmallow. So up here, I put two dots. Look at Grandpa Marshmallow. He's really tall. Grandpa Marshmallow has been around for a long time. Grandpa Marshmallow has been around for two weeks. That's a long time in marshmallow time. That's a that's that that's like a hundred years in 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 human years. So this this is Marshmallow Grandpa, and he's looking around. Look at I'm gonna kind of slant it down. Now this is overlapping. I'm gonna tuck tuck Grandpa Marshmallow behind Marshmallow Mo. Okay, they're taking a little stroll. They're walking along here. They're just taking a taking a walk. Now, right here, look at not I'm not at the board. See this curve. This is called placement. This is lower. This is higher. It's one of those twelve words. Now this one is closer. This is farther away. So we want to push it higher up on the screen, right here. I just I I just went up and I itched my face and I forgot I shaved yesterday. I haven't shaved in thirty years. Do you guys want to see a picture of me shaving? You got to go to my Facebook page or my Instagram page. I can't believe it. It feels so funny. I just, I went up to itch my face and it, and I was like, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, you know what's funny is none of my facial recognition passcodes on my phone or my computer work. I have to go in there and retake it all. My, my facial recognition doesn't recognize me because I don't have my beard. Isn't that crazy? I look like, I look so immature. I look so young. Uh, hi, Doug. This is Turbo Tuesday, by the way. This is Turbo Tuesday. Thank you for asking. But for the duration of our of our um, uh, our, our daily lives, I'm I'm just merging this into our Draw 3D Turbo Tuesday. I want to welcome all of you Draw 3D families who are coming. This is uh this is our Turbo Tuesday day. Usually usually during the normal times we do Turbo Tuesday from two o'clock to three o'clock, but I'm changed it since we're all at home. We're all gonna do it together. Instead of doing it on our private uh, server, instead of doing Turbo Tuesdays on um, our Jigsaw platform, we're just gonna do it live for the whole world on YouTube and on, um, and I was looking, I, th I, th I thought I had a uh, my little logo for Turbo Tuesday, but I don't, don't have it handy. Anyways, if you guys wanna sign up for Kistler for draw3d.com, here's a 50% code just just if you're interested, we got appreciate the support enormously. Thank you. Here's 50% off. This is such a wonderful membership. We've had it for ten, more than 10 years. 50,000 families have proven it to be just super popular. It's amazing. 500 lessons. Uh, here's your here's your 50% off code because I know we're all going through this together. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Now, so here's Marshmallow Mo, Marshmallow Moina, and uh, here's. Uh, Here's Grandpa Marshmallow. Now, 
And uh, thanks, Pam. And I think Pam just put up the, the Pam put up the link for the Draw 3D 50% code and all that. So thanks for doing that, Pam. Now, uh, so here's Grandpa. Now I'm going to draw Marshmallow Mo. He's going to be Marshmallow lo Mo's looking this way. Let's draw Marshmallow Mo's eyes. Now here's the word size. This eye is to the left, and I'm going to make this eye get a little smaller, a little smaller as it moves around. Okay. So here he is, he's looking this way. Now, when I draw eyes, if I put a little reflection, see, it helps make the eye, helps you define the direction he's looking. It helps you define the direction he's looking. Also, it looks cool, looks shiny, see that? And I'm gonna put a couple, couple little lines and make him look like he's surprised. He's looking down here. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna have for our logo today, something with marshmallows. It's gonna be really fun. All right, so now, uh, over here, I'm going to draw, now let's, here's, here's, here's Marshmallow Mo. All right, so we darken it in, curve the bottom, that's contour. All right, you know what we could do? Let's just go ahead and finish this one. Super detailed, darken it in, focus it. Here's the, he's like the, the little brother. I'm going to put a shadow, I'm having my light. It's really good, really important to know where your light source is coming from. My light source is coming from up here, so I'm going to put a shadow cast down here. Now remember, this shadow is coming down in direction southwest. And if you guys need want to get that reference chart to print up, there's a free printable right there. Uh, that is at that Draw 3D printables. Pam's going to put that link up for you in the comment box. The Drawing Compass and the 12 Renaissance Word. That's a free printable for you guys. All right, and there's also free lessons at Draw 3D too. You don't, uh, you don't have to sign up right away. Just check out the really cool lesson. We've been working on that for over 10 years, putting so many fun stuff drawings out there oh here draw these here's marshmallow moina this is his sister looking down and look at she dropped a nickel she dropped a nickel on the ground she's going oh no oh no i dropped a nickel oh no hey there's the mazelle family hi mazelle family uh did you know he still post drawing less oh she's she's asking a question to somebody all right so here is here's uh marshmallow mo he's looking down toward the something going on down here Marshmallow Moina, his sister. Oh no! Oh no! She she dropped her nickel. How is she gonna pick up her nickel? They don't have any arms. I dropped my nickel. Marshmallow Mo's going. Well, if you dropped your nickel, how are you carrying it in the first place if we don't have any arms? She goes, I don't know, but that's my nickel. That's my nickel. Someone type in. That's my nickel. Someone type that in. That's my nickel. That's a great foreshortened circle, by the way. Now, when we shade it, uh, it's dark on the sun. It gets lighter, see? Remember that? Remember, it's dark away from the sun, and it gets lighter and lighter as it comes out. Here, look at lighter and lighter, lighter. And you can you, use your finger to blend it. You can use a Q-tip to blend it. You can use your stompy. These are wonderful little stompies to get, okay? Uh, blending stomps, blending stomps. Now, I'm going to put this shadow. This shadow comes down in direction southwest, too. Do you guys like this so far? Someone give me a one through 10, 10 being fantastic. Uh, how does she hold the nickel? Thank you, Lauren. How do you hold the nickel when you draw a marshmallow? All right, so now, so here's, here's Marshmallow Mo. Put a dot in the middle here and a dot in the middle here. I'm gonna put, give him some hair. All right, so here's Marshmallow Mo. Here's Marshmallow Mo's hair, look. I'm gonna give Marshmallow Mo some hair. Look, look at his hair, look, he's cool. Look at his hair, he's, he's look at his hair's kind of coming over in front. He's. Maybe he's like a teenager. Yeah, I'm cool, man. I play bass in a band. Yeah, look, he's all cool. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Got a little stays going there. Okay. So there we go. So there's our uh, there's our hair. Now for now, I'm going to use a variety, a little variation. Someone type in the word variation. Now watch this. I'm gonna. This is this is one way, one texture. Someone type in also the word texture. This is texture here. Now for the variation, watch. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna give her curly hair. See that? Isn't that cool? Little curly hair there. Isn't that fine? And maybe put one dangly down in front like that. So variety, a little variety, a little variation. Someone type in that word. Type in variation. Someone type in variety. Someone type in texture. So now here's Grandpa. I'm gonna have Grandpa. Grandpa's staring right at you, right? Grandpa's staring right at you. He's like looking at you, human, going, "Hey, hey, put that chocolate, put that chocolate and graham crackers away. Hey, back up, 
wait, no, we, grandpa's, he's, he's a little concerned. He's going, hey, we are not dessert. We are not sushi dessert. We are more than s'mores. We're more than s'mores. <coughs> Someone type that in. Someone type in, we're more than s'mores. We're more than s'mores. Do you know what a s'more is? Look at, here's grandpa's hair right here. Look, isn't that funny? There's grandpa's hair. Oh my gosh, look, this looks just like my dad. This looks like my dad. My dad, he's, <coughs> excuse me, my dad is, my dad is bald. And look, look, my dad is bald and he, uh, he has hair over his ears. Doesn't that look, that looks like my dad. You know what? Someone guess what my dad's name is. He's bald. Guess what my dad's name is. His name is Harry. His name is Harry. Isn't that wonderful? I, I wish I could call my dad right now and put him on the, the line with us, but I'm using the, the phone for YouTube. We have 120 families drawing from YouTube. That's so wonderful. Thank you for joining me, you guys. We're more than s'mores. Everybody together, everybody in your home, say, we're more than s'mores. Hold up your pencil and, and shout, we're more than s'mores. Everybody, we're more than s'mores. Woo! That's right. We're more than s'mores. These guys are standing up for their rights as a marshmallow. We are more than su a sushi dessert. All right. How many people are drawing with us on Facebook? I would love to know. Anybody want to tell me how many... How many viewers do we have on? Oh, we have 122. That's wonderful. We have 119 on YouTube. So thank you, guys. That's what's so wonderful. We have over 250, 220 families. Right, actually, two, almost 250 families. Uh, and we, we have uh, countries all over the world represented here. This is so wonderful. Thank you, guys. I'm so... I, I had a wonderful email from... Uh, from um, Istanbul, Turkey. And the kids over there are watching the recordings because of the time zone difference. I'm looking at my wall of, uh, I, I don't think I have instant, instant, uh, inst, uh, turkey up on my wall of clocks, but I think they're like plus 10 or 12 hours. So it's, uh, it's midnight for them. So they have to watch it. So I want to make a shout out to all the kids who are watching recording and, and, um, over in Europe and in Spain and, and, in uh, Turkey and Dubai and China, we love you guys. Thank you for drawing and spending this time for this creative time with us. We love you guys. All right, the world of creativity. Let's move on to square number two. Here we go. Now for this one, for this drawing, uh, we're gonna draw, let's see here. For square number two, you can see my, my YouTube camera right here. Uh, I, we're just gonna kind of live with it, huh? Uh, move it up a little bit. Let me try to see if I can, I can almost get out of it. You can just see the top edge. That's all right, right? Maybe move it down a little bit. All right. So now for this one, let's draw, let's draw the, uh, the, um, on this one. You know what? I'm going to draw the, uh, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to draw, we're going to draw this really cool, uh, Marshmallow Hotel. Two dots at the top and draw a four shortened circle. Draw the four. This is actually one of the levels of drawing success. There's 99 levels of drawing success, the pencil power levels. And um, I'm gonna get this posted so you guys can see it, but these are timed levels. I want you kids to try to draw these different exercises in a certain amount of time, and you like, like the karate levels. These are like karate success levels right here, all right? And I'll post this on Instagram, and I'll post this on Facebook, and I'll explain to you a little bit more about this. That I'll put this on the Facebook post tonight. The 99 pencil power levels. Hey Pam, Pam, would you remind me? I haven't. I don't have this posted anywhere yet. I want to put it up uh, on um, on Facebook tonight, so you guys can print it right off of Facebook or right off of Instagram. Thanks, Pam. And I want to explain to you. These are such great activities. You practice, practice, and then there's a time limit. You need to draw like this cylinder in 30 seconds. See, I'm writing a whole book. I'm writing this whole book. It's called You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. All right. It's really cool. And it's, you can't finish a drawing in 30 seconds. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you can draw in 30 seconds. Basically, it's just to get you parents to pick up your pencil and make a mark and make a mark, get it? And it's you kids, you kids practicing this shape. Here, put a dot out here and a dot out here so you can be confident, be confident and build up your drawing skill and your drawing 
instinct. You're drawing instinct. You're drawing courage. Look at like this looks like a little hat here. See, I, I curved behind. This is important on this one. Curve behind it. So this is this is one of these club levels. These time club levels. I'll tell you more about that uh, tomorrow. In fact, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little note to myself. I'm gonna tell you more about uh, the 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 time levels. We should do a time level every day. We should do a pencil power timed level well actually we'll try to do one tomorrow and we'll see how it goes okay there's 99 and it's such a great uh motivation to practice so this is going to be the the marshmallow hotel so we're going to do two layers now you want to do if you want to go crazy you could put another layer up here look at this i have room i'm going to squeeze one more layer look i put a four shortened circle Look, I'm going to squeeze another layer up here. Now, don't come all the way to the end. Almost to the end. Curve the bottom. Curve the bottom. Look, I have three levels. Wow, three levels. That's a very advanced of one of these um, timed levels. This, what the, for the time level for this one, I think this is called the, what color of the pencil club here? This is the, the green pencil club, the cylinder, if you guys can see that. And there's eight, there's eight sub-levels in this one. So if you can draw this in 30 seconds, you get a check mark. <clears throat> and then there's nine levels underneath this, right? So there's 99 levels all together. This goes right along with the karate levels of success. It's really cool. So <clears throat> this is, what color was this? I forgot, the green pencil club level. So up here, this is the first layer. So I'm gonna put one door. This is first layer, there's one door. Okay, I'll put it on the right side. Now this is the second layer, so I'm gonna put two doors. I'm gonna put a door on this side to vertical, curving the top vertical. Notice how this line is longer than this line. That's size, near things are lower. So this is layer two, so I'll put two doors on this one. All right, one through 10, how are you guys doing, you guys? How are you doing? So here's one door, there's two doors. We're gonna talk about the law of thickness. This is an important one, the law of thickness. It's a wonderful concept to learn, and you'll use it all the time throughout your life of drawing, your creative life. The law of thickness, it would never change. It's always the same. If the window or door is on the right side, watch this. The thickness is on the right side. Put a little, put a little doorway there, see? So I'm gonna go ahead and darken that in. There's our top. This is the Twinkie, no, not Twinkie. This is the Marshmallow Hotel, okay? You can make a little Marshmallow City. Like in this one, I put Marshmallow Towers. See that? You can put holes and windows and doors in that. Isn't that wonderful? So this is, now inside, watch this. I'm gonna put a little, little hallway inside there. And so this is the back wall. See, it, it's a different, it doesn't come through. It, I try to avoid it going straight through because I don't want that congruency. Now, I'm gonna put a window on the, the, look at the doors on the right. Now I'm gonna put a window over here on the left. See that? If the door's on the right, the thickness is on the right. If the window or door's on the left, the thickness is on the left. Isn't that cool? And I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little marshmallow kind of peeking out right there. Little marshmallow guy kind of, kind of peeking out. You can kind of see my guy here. This is the law of thickness. It's a very helpful, the law of thickness. I'll back that up and focus it. And now I'm gonna darken inside there to make that little marshmallow. That's uh, variety and value. We want the dark value. And I'm gonna shade that just a bit inside there. The, I'm gonna keep the light. I'll keep the light for coming over, for, uh, over here on the right. So let's shade the side opposite. Isn't that great? And it's good to see you guys. Hi guys, good to see you guys. All right, uh, Matthew Joy, good to see you. Hi, Nichelle. Uh, yeah, the, oh, that's good. The thickness rule. Pam Stadler, can you write that? If the window's on the right, the thickness is on the right. If the window's on the left, the thickness is on the left. Pam, can you type that in the text box? The thickness, the law of thickness. If the door is on the right, the thickness is on the right. See that? The little thickness. If the door is on the left, the thickness is on the left. It's, uh, I have these little rules <clears throat> that I learned from my art teachers over the years. My art teachers have really inspired me and, and influenced me and helped me become the teacher that I am. Uh, you can see us. Hi, Lauren. I can see the text. I sure can. Thanks, Nichelle. Thanks for your 
drawings. Hey, Joseph, how are you doing? I'm going to um, keep going here. Now, back here, I'm going to put some more. I want to put marshmallows peeking out from back. Here's one marshmallow. And then look at, here's another marshmallow. Look at, they're, 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 look at, they're looking out of the doors. Isn't that funny? So I'm going to darken in the background. Do you guys like that? This is the Marshmallow Hotel. Darken in the background. That gives it, that it makes those little marshmallow guys pop out. The sun's from the right, so we darken in the side away from it. And we make it get lighter and lighter as it comes across. Lighter and lighter. I want to thank you guys every day at noon for drawing with me. And we're going to get through this together with creativity and joy and politeness and compassion. We're all going to get through this crazy time together by drawing every day at noon. Woo! Someone type in, woo! Thank you. <coughs> Stop in the name of the law of thickness. That's right, Raymond. All right. Now, I want to really quick, I want to thank you guys who are helping me with the GoFundMe page. Uh, Mario and I and Amanda and Heather and our whole staff, we appreciate it. Um, ju I, we, just like you, uh, have our had our lives come to a, a grinding halt and appreciate your help and support. If you want to help us, please go to GoFundMe, Mark Kistler Kids Special, to keep us on the air, keep us doing this. This is our wall of coolness. I want to thank Terrence and Chris and Catherine Shelley. Look at this. Ed, heck, Lisa, Mizal family, John Ackerman, Carol Eubanks. And Danette Stevens and the Anonymouses. And I we had some more yesterday. Thank you, Rebecca Giuliano, Misty, Dana Thompson, Tyler, and Amelia Bug. Thank you. And I got to thank the, my two volunteers, three volunteers. We got Pam Esch. She's in the classroom right now. She's our live room virtual mom. Thank you, Pam. We love you. Everybody say hi, Pam. We have Richard Williams. He's in the room. He's an art instructor from the College of Ozarks. I gave him his title. I knighted him, the Global Knight the Global Director of Media Relations. He's getting our information out to all the media outlets. Thank you, guys. And Diane Kelly, she's uh, communicating with all the homeschool groups all over the world. She's our international homeschool liaison. And if you guys, I'm looking for some some more helpers, I volunteers. I want to thank uh, Amanda, and Emil, uh, Amanda and Heather. They have their kids at home, and they're still, they're still working with me and helping me. I so appreciate it. Thank you, and we just, I'm trying to get backups to help Heather and, and Amanda. They usually handle all this, but you know how it is. We all have our kids at home, so it's difficult. I'm going to put three doors. If you want to volunteer, I'm looking for a few more volunteers. Please, please, please send me, if you have some time in between taking care of your kids and your family and your dogs and your pets and your cats, uh, send me an email, please. Uh, I, it's much better to send me an email because uh, if you send me a message in, on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, it's hard for me to keep track of all the platforms. Mark at markkistler.com. Thank you. All right. There's one door. There's two doors. Now I'm going to put three doors. I'm going to put vertical line, curve the top, curve the top. Thank you guys for that for supporting me on the GoFundMe. Every $10, $20 helps us immensely. Can't even tell you. Beyond words. Thank you. Now, um, over here on the far left, see the, the thickness, the door is on the left, so I'm going to put the thickness on the left, okay? If the window's on the left, there's our thickness rule. Now, if the window's on the right, where's the thickness, guys? If the window's on the right, or the door's on the right, where's the thickness? Where's the thickness? Ha! All right, I, I, I got distracted. I was looking through the... Well, Pam, thank you for saying hi to everyone three times. Pam, you're you you're you're wonderful. She's Pam's saying hi to everybody uh, uh, to make sure you guys all feel welcome and are here. So thank you, Pam. You say hi as many times as you want, dear. I love it. Thank you. You say hi to everybody. Every, so we get new people coming in all the time. Now here's here's a uh, hi Mario. There's my son. Now look, the door is in the middle. This is tricky. Where's the thickness if the door is in the middle? If the window's on the right, if the door's on the, oh, I'm sorry, if the door's on the left, thickness is on the left. If the door's on the right, thickness is on the right. If the door's in the middle, does anybody have any idea? Hi, Ed Heck from New York. If the window, look at the door's in the middle, put the thickness right on both sides. It's in the middle. See that? Isn't that interesting? The thickness is in the middle. So we'll put, I'm going to put some marshmallow, look at one marshmallow peeking over here. I'm going to put a marshmallow peeking over here. 
I'm gonna put a marshmallow peak in here and one over here. And I'm gonna put a marshmallow peeking over here. Look at there's marshmallows peeking out from behind all the, isn't that cool? This, this would be a great coloring page like Ed Heck. Ed Heck from New York, one of my favorite artists on the planet. He is posting coloring pages for you guys every day. And that's just great. Thanks, Ed Heck. You're awesome. How you doing, Ed Heck in New York? How are you doing, buddy? Here, darken this in. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is Hi, Raven and Eddie. The third day in the row they're turning in. They're tuning in. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're drawing with me. I want to thank you guys because you're drawing with me. You give me and Mario purpose. You give us... You give us uh, something really important for us to do. Mario's here helping me out. He's my moral support. Now, Mario has his own webcast tonight at 6 o'clock. It's called The Mario and Dad Show. You want to show, show me the title? I'll put it up here. If you guys want to watch The Mario and Dad Show tonight, I think Mario's going to draw a, a power drill with an attachment. No, he's going to draw something else. Oh, he's going to draw our kitty cats. He's going to draw Flash and Gordon tonight. So that's tonight at 6 o'clock if you want a little uh, Central Eastern. I'm sorry, this is Central Time, Texas Time. <clears throat> this is 6 o'clock tonight. All right, there you go. Isn't that wonderful? Now, so there is our Marshmallow Hotel. That's actually the green pencil level on the 99 skill levels, and more of that to come. And if you guys want more descriptions, you send me an email, nudge me, remind me. I'm a bit distracted uh, nowadays, uh, as every, all your parents are. And I really intend to tell you more about that. And I don't want to forget. So you guys remind me, okay? You guys remind me. Now, Mario is giving me a signal. He wants me, yeah? What's up? Uh, oh, Mario, he, he, okay, he gave me, here's the title for the show. It's called the, Mar the Mario and Dad Show. Can you guys see that? The Mario and Dad Show. Isn't that cool? So he's a, he's the he is the creator of a company here that we call the Green Monster. He does uh, house and lawn maintenance, and he volunteers his time to help people in need. It's really cool. Ryan Shaw did that, and there's a picture of Mario in his studio and out in the garage fixing vacuums and cleans houses and stuff. And then uh, here's Mario at NASA. We were at NASA, and the NASA crew they they. Look at, they set Mario up with his own broom so he can clean the mission control. That was awesome. Thanks, Jack Moore. All right, let's jump into the logo. We're going to draw the logo here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a big marshmallow popping out. I'm going to draw a big marshmallow pop. Well, 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 not that big because I can't fit that guy in there. I want to have a big marshmallow popping out. Here he is. He's, he's going to be looking up. So this big marshmallow guy here, and this is going to be our hour. There's our marshmallow of pencil power. Woo! Someone say woo! Our hour of pencil power. You guys, do you like our little every now? If you want to create your own logo and put have me put it on the on the webcast. I would love to. All you need to do is draw the logo for the Hour of Pencil Power with something in the middle, some kind of a featured uh, character, and take a picture of it and text it, or uh, not text it, but um, but uh, message it. No, I'm sorry, don't message it. <laughs> Put it in a comment when I post the final picture. Then I'll post the final picture sometime this afternoon. I'll take a picture of all four and I'll put it up on Facebook. I'll put it on Instagram. And uh, also take a picture. All you families that are drawing, take a picture of all you together, like a montage. Uh, right now, Amanda is putting together our e-blast. Make sure you signed up to be on our newsletter, our e-blast, so you can see it. You go to my website at markkistler.com and you just sit there for five seconds and this thing will pop up on the screen and say, hey, sign up for uh, Mr. Mark's newsletter and make sure you fill that out. And you should get out, get into our weekly e-blast. It goes out to 20,000 families around the world. We'd love to have you your pictures on this week's, okay? So take pictures. And then the way to make sure I see it 
is you put it in the comment box in Facebook. I rarely check the Instagram comments. I try to keep up. It's just so many platforms. It's exasperating. Our hour of pencil power. Woo! Do you guys love it? What do you think? Is this a good one? I think my favorite so far was the, the shark one, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got to go back and look at where we're building up a collection if we're doing this every day. Our hour of pencil power. Good to see. We have 114 people up on YouTube. Good to see you guys. How many do we still have on, on Facebook? Great to see you guys. Our hour of pencil power. Woo! Someone say, someone type an hour of pencil power. Woo! All right, I'm going to take my Stompy and blend this a little bit. I'm going to give that, give that marshmallow a tone. And there we go. There's our hour of pencil power. Now, uh, uh, this is really cool. Here's my name. If you guys want to go to GoFundMe and support us, every $10, $20 helps. If you value what we're doing, um, please uh, support us. We appreciate it. Mark Kistler... Uh, kids special every day at noon as long as we as long as we need to as long as we need to do this every day at noon to give you kids some distraction comfort and joy and inspiration woohoo so this is on gofundme again thank you thank you gofundme thank you for your support thank you bless you now square number three on this one i want to draw i want to draw this cool canyon i want to draw this cool can this is what we're going to draw look at this canyon all right, check this out. Do you guys like that canyon? We're going to draw the Marshmallow Canyon. They're on a big adventure. All right. Thanks, guys. Now, uh, yep, Saturday and Sunday do. Uh, Mara and I, we're here. We're here every day. We're, 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 <laughs> we're stuck at our homes just like you guys, so we'll do it every day as long as, uh, as, long as we can. And your uh, GoFundMe support totally helps. Also, here, here's another way to get to support us, you guys. And you'll love it. Get it. Get yourself a family membership. You'll love this. This is it's so awesome. I'm so proud of it. 500 lessons, 50,000 members. Here's your 50% off code right here. And of course, um, uh, you know, order my books. I, that would, I think you'll love them. Uh, drawn in 3D. There's, there's one that's just fantastic. And uh, there's the sister book is You Can Draw in 30 Minutes. This is one, you can pre-order this one right now. This is our You Can Draw in 30 Second book that's coming out. These are some other books that are on. Uh, there's my drawing in 3D uh, with Mark Kissler, or your favorite online retailer, Imagination Station. With, And this book right here is based on my TV show from the 1980s, Imagination Station. I don't know if you ever saw that. That one's on Amazon Prime. Some of you parents might remember me from Commander Mark, The Secret City Taste. If you're, tell me what show. If you remember any of these shows, let me know. There's a, there's a lot of uh, links for, for Pam to put up there real fast. All right, so put a dot. We're going to draw that marshmallow canyon. So I'm going to put a dot about right here. And now this is a, a, an interesting way to teach one-point perspective. I'm going to have the canyon come down in direction. Remember our directions, same as above, that southwest, to see the same angle. You'll be amazed how many times we use that same angle. Southwest turning to here southeast. Look at this, coming down to southeast, it's going to be like a river, like a, a little river going through here. See? See how that looks like a river? You see that? We're going to draw like this little, it could be a road too. I have a really cool lesson coming up, you guys. And uh, I, uh, I wish I had it laying here, but I don't have it laying here. But I'll, I'll show you later. Okay, it's gonna, we're going to be we're doing one or two point perspective coming up. Now look at coming across here, coming down. All right, it's coming down at the corner. Now, back here, it's small. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's take a look at our, our, at our source. Look at how it's small in the background, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it comes towards you. That's that word size. Of those 12 Renaissance words, this is an important one. So it's small back here. See, it's really small, a little candy. Now I'm going to, there's a, if I put a dot here, horizontally, horizon, horizontally from left to right, I'll put a, a guide point right here that I'm going to come down. I'm going to turn right at that guide point. Look at this. It gets larger and th this is wider at the curve. Look at this. It gets, I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to put a guide point out here because the, the trail gets larger as it comes out. Maybe I'll put it, I'm going to put it even further out. Look at this. I'm going to put it even further out. And then, now watch, this is interesting. See, it's small, larger, 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 larger. 
Look at how large it gets. Look at this. It gets so big down here. This could be a road. You could put just uh, uh, the road there, right? You could put a road, which we'll do. We're going to draw a desert road in the days ahead, but I'm not going to do a road. I'm going to do a canyon. So watch this. Very cool. Uh, very lightly from this point, watch, just with a couple of these lines. Watch this. I'm going to draw the edge of the canyon. Isn't that cool? See how that makes it look like it's, it's really sitting there? Do you love it? Okay, now from this point, how? Uh, let me see. Oh, Chris said he watched me. Uh, Stacy said she has one of my books. And Lori's asking to draw ships and boats. Sure. And um, Raymond Moore is an official member of the Secret City. Oh, that's so sweet. The Secret City Club. Here, put that thickness right here. See this? Put that thickness. That's so cool. Now, you see what the magic of those thickness lines are? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Um, now, now we're going to put all the marshmallows. I'm going to start with the near one here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a, a marshmallow right here, kind of slanting down. There's a, our leader, leader of the pack. So there's, there's, there's our front marshmallow guy. What do you think, Mara? Do you kind of like it? Yeah. There's our front marshmallow. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to put another marshmallow back here. He's kind of, maybe he's, I'm going to put him right here, kind of leaning forward. Okay. We're just going to put... Put these marshmallows moving back. And then I think I'll put another marshmallow right. Um, maybe I'll put one about right here. So that, that one's about right there. And then I'm going to make one peeking from behind here. Look at this one. This one's kind of peeking around the corner here. All right. So we have, we have that marshmallow. And then I'm going to put, maybe I'll put one. Uh, I know I'm going to, I'm going to have one kind of slanting forward here. So they're, he's, they're coming around the corner. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. Doot, doot. And then I'm going to draw maybe one kind of slanting back, back here. See, we're just going to have a whole crowd. This is traffic jam in the canyon, marshmallow traffic jam. And then I'm going to put another one, just a little small one right here. They get a little smaller as they move away. And then I'll put, uh... Maybe, maybe I'll put one, maybe I'll put one right here, make it a little more crowded there, right? And then I want to draw, I want to draw one kind of peeking around the corner back here. And then there's one back here. Look at this. Look how far back they go. They get smaller and smaller. Hey, look at that. They go way back. Okay. What do you guys think? One through 10. Do you love it? One through 10 are marshmallow traffic. Marshmallows in the canyon. Do you love it? Okay, now this one, we're using many of the Renaissance words, many of the words here. Look at, we're using foreshortening. Things are squished and distorted. The top, we're using placement. Near things are lower to make them look closer. We're using size. Near things are larger to make them look closer. We're losing, using overlapping, overlapping right here, overlapping. Things are in front of one another to make them look closer. We're going to use shading. We use shadow. We use contour to give it shape and volume. Our horizon line gives our, gives our eye a reference for where the background stops and the sky begins. All these are important. You can get this free. Get this free, okay? Print this up and have this handy. Um, Pam, can you put that link for the uh, 12 Renaissance Word on the Draw 3D site? It's a free resource for you guys. Carry it around in your pockets. You can make yourself a little little uh, pocket reference guide, okay? It'd be, um, it'd be really good to have. Now, let's go ahead. Now we focus our drawing. Let's focus like a camera lens. I don't, none of you kids probably remember what it's like to focus a camera lens. Um, if you do remember, mine looks like rocks. Hey, you can have the, the rock, the, the rock parade. Why not? Why not have the rock parade? So I'm going to draw the near eye here and it gets smaller as it moves away. And then this guy, the near eye is larger, even, even in, in their eyes. Look at that. There's even positioning in their eyes. I'm going to darken in that canyon a little bit. Now you just go through and you darken in. The near eye is larger. It gets smaller. Here's, here's our 99 challenge. This is our 99 challenge, okay? This is our daily 99 challenge. The 99. The 99 challenge. Who, who can draw 99 marshmallows? on a page 99 I think I can I'm going to show you something here I'm going to show you something here if I can find it really fast um hold on 
Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'll show you that. Uh, uh, hold on. Oh, I got so many cool things to show you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't, don't, don't leave. I'm trying to find these student examples. Where is my 99? Where's, oh, there's, I'll show you that. That's kind of fun. I'm coming, guys. I just wanted to try to find this one student example, and I can't find it. I'll give it 30 more seconds. Oh, I had this page of 99 marshmallows. And, uh, well, that's cool. Well, I'll have to show you another time, but here's a couple cool things that popped up. Uh, one of the kids, one of the kids' parents did this. We were doing a, a, a similar lesson. We were doing this scene from uh, that, the uh, that uh, that Pixar uh, video short, the abduction, and the, look at the marshmallows they get along. These are the buttons on that. So that's a, that's a. Then we're, we'll go. We're the, we're, this is the eye lesson. We'll do the eye lesson. This eye lesson is actually. Uh, in my book, you can draw them through. So we did, we're going to do that. That'll be one of the days too. We'll draw that eye lesson, all right? And then this fellow took the marshmallows. This was a student, Sarah. Sarah was in sixth grade and she made marshmallow. Look at, she made um, marshmallow mom and dad walking and she drew the marshmallow city and she drew the marshmallow clock tower. She did the marshmallow uh, boat. You see they're rowing. Isn't that cute? And I have, I have just so many neat... Uh, so many neat uh, student examples, hundreds and hundreds, and I, I have them all sorted. So, all right, so today what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can draw 99 marshmallows, okay? 99 marshmallows. Isn't this awesome? Now, Mario's here. Hey, Mario, do you want to do the last drawing today? Sure. You want to do one? Sure. What do you want to draw with the kids? Uh, we ordered a Zamboni. Which one? A Zamboni. One of You're going to draw it. Mario wants to draw a Zamboni. How, what do you guys think? You want to have Mario draw that ice, the Zamboni that goes around on the ice? That'll be awesome. And then maybe a marshmallow is going to be driving the Zamboni. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and let Mario do square number four. And that's a little sneak peek for the Mario show tonight at six o'clock. We were going to try, we think. Now, you can be flexible with us. We were going to try it last night. It just didn't work out. But if you want to do it, we uh, tonight at 6 for the Mario and Dad show. Woo! So, Mario, you're going to get you practice your Zamboni over there while we're getting... Right now. Huh? Right now. Yeah, you're already practicing it? Yep. All right, look, I'm going to put some shadows. I'm going to put some shadows in, in here. 99 years later. Woo! That's a great title out there. Here, the 99 Challenge. Who can draw 99 uh, marshmallows? Again, post that. When I post this final picture up on Facebook, post it in the comments section so we know where to find it. All right? I can't wait to see you guys' pictures. Now, if, you'd go, if you go onto Facebook and you post it in your, yeah, on your post in Facebook, make sure you uh, tag me on it and... I'll try to remember to go to my timeline. Pam, will you remember, uh, remind me to go to my timeline and make sure I get, I share those? I forget, I forget. I, I want to make sure. If you do, if you tag me and put it in my timeline, it'll go into an area that I have to find it and say, okay. Do you guys like this one? I need some love. Who, who, who loves it? Someone say, I love it, I love it. Mr. Mark needs some love. I love it. Do you love it? Okay, send me some hearts or something. Uh, uh, put an emojo. Oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you. All right. Hey, Sherry. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to put a little value. Now, Mario's ready? In my eraser. Uh, oh, he wants your stompy? In my eraser. Oh, you want, here's your eraser. Yeah, that's Here's your right. eraser. Oh, All right. You did great, buddy. Yeah, that's in my eraser. How was your lunch, Mario? That was good. I still have my lunch down there I waiting. I have one problem. I went to blow. I was about to go blow, but there's no Oh, gas. you were going to blow the yard, but then you thought you'd wait for us to finish? There's no more gas. All right. Well, this is so great, you guys. I'm going to let Mario do the last drawing with you guys. 
But let me do a quick, quick recap. Here's all my contact information. Be sure to watch our, our uh, show on Amazon Prime if you want to. Um, get, get a hold of a copy of my book. Here's your 50% off discount code for the Draw 3D. We thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, getting our books or, or getting the getting the uh, the, um, the the Draw 3D membership. And uh, uh, thanks for your GoFundMe support of our kids' free webcast hour of Pencil Power Special. We love you guys. We love you. Thank you for drawing with us. And I am going to let Mario now take up square number four. Can everybody welcome Mario? Everybody send a little uh, hello. Uh, thank you, Pam. Mario, I'm going to drink my cold coffee and, and watch you do it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Mario's, Mario's coming up for drawing number four. A little sneak peek for the Mario and Dad show. Oh, he's still doing his warm-up drawing. That's cool, Mario. Yeah, come on and grab a seat there. <clears throat> and you can do a little drawing with him. That sound good? I had to tell you, I want to go blow, but there's no more gas. Oh. Yeah, no more gas. Oh, no, oh no we'll, more cans of gas. Oh, we'll have to go get some more gas. Yeah. All right, here's Mario. Everybody say hi to Mario. Here's my puzzle. Yep. Thank you. Here it is. Here's my password drawing. Now, Mario, how old are you? I'm 18. Mario's 18. He's my 18-year-old. He's my awesome special abilities. He's like this genius turbo special guy. Yeah. And um, we're glad to have you here today, Mario. You take it over. You tell them what you're going to draw. I am going to draw you guys a Zamboni. Have you guys seen, how, how many times do you like to see the Zamboni going around the ice? When I was little, I like to see the Zamboni going around the ice. It, it's very cool. I like to go go to the, the rink to see the guys see riding the Zamboni. Mario, look at, they're all saying hi to you. They're saying, hi, Mario. Oh. Hi, Mario. It would be really cool one day if you guys get the for your birthday if you guys drive a that have a guy drive a Zamboni for you get get your ride the Zamboni. That'd be really cool. Great, Dad. Yeah, that's right. You want to draw that one now? Yeah. Well, hand me those two pieces of paper. I'll give you a, cl a, a clean one. Yeah. You can put that in front so you have that as a reference. You want to put that up there by the Campbell soup can? This one. There you go. It won't, it won't, it won't. Just, just lay it right there, there. And here's a blank sheet for you. And you go and you go ahead and you dazzle, you dazzle them, Mario. Wait, I want you to actually draw here. You draw on that one, draw that square. Right then. Yeah, draw on that square right there so you're part of the show. Yeah. What am I doing putting a blank sheet up there? <laughs> All right. Okay, wherever you're comfortable, then I'll move the camera. Are you comfortable drawing right there? Yeah, can you move my, uh... Okay. Yeah, I was uh, cause the chair is in the little couch. Okay. It's in the couch chair right here. All right, well, the camera's all set, so you just go when you're ready. Well, I'm going to start with the uh, wheels. Two wheels. Draw two wheels. Two wheels. You know, on the ice, you know, so they don't slide. They actually put studs in the um in the in the tires so they don't slide around. Right there. They have studs in the tires. Yep, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I had no idea. They put studs in the tires so they don't slide around. They're kind of like golf shoes, little little the spikes kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so it could track the ice, get on the ice real quick. Yeah. Uh, so I try to frame. Draw the frame. Draw the, the box. And then here's the um the thing it, it um it puts up the ice. That's the the thing it 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 it, it drags around. That's the towel. And then I go up there. 
There's the steering wheel. And then the seat. Now, is that the back? That's the back or the front? The front. This is the back. Oh, that's the back. Where the guy sits, there's the chair. You want to put a guy, put yourself in there. Okay. You want, I mean, you want to draw yourself in the seat? Yeah. Yeah, my Boy, head. that's a big, look at the, Mario, he drew him. That's a giant Zamboni. Look how small Mario is. That's funny. That's cute. Draw <laughs> some hair flying back. Air? Yeah, put some hair flying back like you're the, in the wind. Yeah. And, yeah, here's, there's Mario. There's his hair. My hair. <laughs> and then, here's the levers. You can, so you control the Zamboni. Fernando my... likes your drawing, Mario. Thank you. And here's the snow. Here's the uh, the ice right here. And here's the snow. The big clumps of it. And to the the Zamboni. And then you know the you know the thing on the side? This thing? That's for the um That's for the uh that's for like the the edges where they when they like soup stuff into the the Zamboni. Mario, they're saying that the Tina Engler and her family yeah. they're putting a marshmallow in this seat, and then uh, uh, this uh, Lupla loves watching the Zamboni go around in circles on the ice. That's awesome. That's very awesome. And Rebecca Giuliano and her family said they like to watch the Zamboni around the ice too. That's cool. But I like this one. I'm going to put like little fashion lights on it. So you can look cool. So like I can put like, like it's like the siren on the police car. But it's a little like, cool because every time, every time I go to for Christmas the, for around the um, the skating rink, my dad used to take me off the little three take me he used to take me to um to see the Zamboni. Who did? Me Ah yeah. you're telling a dad story. I I I was reading the text messages and I I, I said, I wonder what what the, what is Mario talking about now? Oh, he's doing a dad story. Yeah, we used to drive down to the, the, the big ice skating rink. Remember that at the uh, yeah Galleria down in Houston? No, 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 no. That was in the, in the Woodlands. Oh, the Woodlands. That's right. That's no, the... Were you saying that the hotel? Were you saying the hotel one time? Oh, right, right, right. We stayed at the, the Hilton Garden Inn, and they made Mario an honorary... Uh, a room cleaner. And remember, they gave you a badge oh, and yeah, a smock. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, You were, like, member of the cleaning crew. That, that's all I draw for you guys to, uh, on the, on the s tonight, actually. Oh, tonight. Okay. I'll that's that. tonight. That's on the Mario show. I'll so, Mario, you got about another minute. Do you want to add a little more detail? Um, You're yeah. about done? Yeah. Well, here, here's the hopper. That's the hopper, but here's this. That's the way you go. That's the door to open. That's the door to open it to dump the ice. Where is the what? Did they, don't they run it on some kind of a a, a, a cylinder of compressed uh, gas or something? Yeah. Or, what yeah. what is that? That's the you know you know the things that you can see off the grill. Is it propane? Propane. Oh, yeah. they so, they have, they have a they run it on a propane tank. Okay. Yeah, some of it's gas, some of it's battery, some of it's battery, some of it's gas. All right. Hey, so hi to Chris Christina. Hi, Christina. So he's going to add a propane tank, and then we're going to wrap it up for today's today's edition of our Hour of Pencil Power. Now, we'll try to be back on tonight at 6. It's also 6 o'clock. I might even do a... Uh, uh, Richard has asked if my daughter Selena draws. You know what? She's so creative and clever. She's in uh, nursing school, and uh, she... She is 20 years old, and she and her 20-year-old uh, friend, they live together, and she's, they're doing good. They're, they're doing, their, doing their thing, and so thanks for asking about her. But she, does she draw tomorrow? Selena, yes. she, she made that. She, yeah, she draws she, sometimes. She, uh, she, she looks like dancing. Uh, 
she her like, thing is friends. So she, that she's really no. She's her a, thing is like she's like dancing and all that. Oh yeah, she did. She's a dancer. She's a coach. She's a cheerleading coach. And she the salon. She's, look at the salon place. Yeah, that's all. Oh, and then she that's right. She works at the salon. And I work at the movie theater right right next door to her. Yeah, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye, everybody. Here, put your head in there and say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll Have fun. We love you. Talk to me tonight. Oh, me tonight. Well, tell them again. Bye, guys. We'll see you guys tonight. For the Mario and Mark show. Mario, Mario and Dad Mar show. Mario and Dad show. Do we have your logo? Want to end with your logo? That's in my thing. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll show it tonight. We'll see you tonight, guys. All right. Bye. All right, let's, uh, let's zoom the camera out for the Facebook people. We'll end you. Bye. bye. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. All right. There we go.